Hey what's up guys Josh here. So in this video I'm going to tell you 5 tips that can significantly improve your laptop's battery life. And these are reliable ones so you can trust these tips whenever you want to get some extra juice from your battery. And I'll also explain why it does. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the points. So the first tip is to remove any unwanted applications that are sitting idly in the taskbar. Now, you know, a lot of people have this convention of opening multiple applications and just using one and leaving the others to idly sit on the taskbar, which obviously puts some stress to the uh, CPU and it produces heat, which is an obvious form of energy loss. Let's say that you have opened Photoshop and Premiere Pro at the same time, you are multitasking, working with both applications at once, transferring stuff from here to here and here to here. Now, in such cases, the idea is that you should close one of those applications, complete your work in one application and then move on to the other, just one by one. Because when you use multiple intensive applications at once, there is a lot of stress going to the CPU. So ultimately, it produces a lot of heat. And in order to dissipate that heat, the fans have to run faster and it obviously consumes power. Alright guys, so the second tip is to undervolt your CPU. Now, a lot of you might not be familiar with this term, but anyways, I've already uploaded a complete video about what exactly is undervolting and how we can do it, how it exactly works. So I'll give a card here to that video as well as a link in the description. So if you're interested, you can check that out and it pro provides a lot of benefits, including uh, increased CPU performance in some cases and extended battery life, of course, producing less heat. So moving on, the next tip is to avoid deep cycles. Now, Charging from 0 to all the way up to 100% and depleting the battery from 100% and all the way up to 0. Now this cycle is called deep cycle. Now there is a myth about deep cycle that it can improve the laptop's battery life which apparently only applies to the older nickel based batteries. Nowadays the modern laptops come with a lithium ion battery which absolutely has no requirement for deep cycles and it in fact is harmful for a laptop's battery. Moving on to the next step and it is to keep the laptop cool. So how do you keep it cool? Well, there are several ways to do it. You reduce the performance, the stress of the CPU, you can keep it cool, remove unwanted background processes. But why do you need to reduce the heat in order to save battery life? Now, you know, heat is apparently a form of energy loss, but that's trivial. More importantly, it makes the fans to run faster, which absolutely consumes the power from the laptop's battery. And more importantly, Heat will have a big impact when it comes to the long term of a laptop. Heat is the greatest enemy to a laptop CPU and it can potentially have a detrimental impact in your laptop. So try to keep it cool, then you can save some battery life as well. Moving on, the next step is to use battery saver. Now, by battery saver, I didn't mean the third party ones which uh, promises to um, give you twice the battery life or thrice the battery life. I'm not in the mind of recommending them, but I mean the default saviors, the one that comes with the Windows itself, or maybe your manufacturer's own battery saving option if that exists. And the reason is that it is programmed to be saving battery life, so it switches a lot of options, modify a lot of settings, and decreases the brightness, which is obvious. And it, do, it does a lot of things like that in order to get you some extra juice, which you actually cannot manually do because a lot of us are unaware of such settings. And if you click on the battery icon, then uh, here you can turn on the battery saver right here. And above that, you can see battery settings. Now, if you head into that and under the battery saver text, tap these two things if they are not already tapped. And below that, you can see that there is also an option to turn on the battery saver automatically at certain percentages. If you'd like to do it, you can do it from here. And then the default battery saver comes to the rescue. Anyways guys, just we have completed the list. So I have a bonus tip here, which is something that you can use when you are in the urge of some extra battery life. You know, when you're outside, then you don't have your uh, charger adapter with you. You don't have the opportunity to charge your laptop. Then this is what you can do in such cases. So firstly, decrease the brightness, which is obvious and it sucks more juice as well. And then move on to the notification panel. And then here, turn off things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi if they're turned on and remove any peripherals attached to the CPU like external mouse or keyboard. And if your laptop's keyboard is backlit, then turn the backlit off or reduce the brightness of it. And instead of using the inbuilt speakers, you can use the headphone if you have one. And the last step is to use Microsoft Edge, which might seem a little disappointing, but uh, it substantially saves battery life compared to Chrome. So in case of emergency, you can switch to the Microsoft Edge and close the Chrome. 
All right, guys. So those are the five tips that I would give you to do when you're in the urgency of some extra juice from your body. And I guess the bonus tip was a little quicker because it was supposed to be shorter than all the other tips on the list. So anyways, if you like this video, then you know what to do. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I will catch you maybe in the part two of this video.